While Flight Simulator is pretty demanding, you can have a high resolution cockpit like this, and you can even have a fairly decent looking outside view like this, even on a lower end system like mine. Now there are at least a dozen or so settings we can play with today, but we're going to talk about render scaling here. Uh, we're going to get it up to the highest level as possible, but we're going to keep terrain level of detail and the object's level of detail on low, because right now that's the accepted limits. So this is the notification I get every time I start up Flight Simulator 2020. And even though it appears that I have the right specs, uh, I don't. Now my uh, Intel processor is uh, pretty old. It's even slower than some of the modern i5. So that's one problem I have. I've got enough memory, but even though my graphics processor, which let me bring you that up over here, is a GTX 960, the GTX 770 minimum actually outperforms mine a bit. But don't let that stop you. Uh, we're going to go into the graphics area here. And we're going to click on the custom, low end, whatever, medium. Choose low end and then build from there. I'm to the point where I'm going to try high end. I know a high end setting on the low end card sounds crazy, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. One of the things you need to worry about is this terrain level of detail and objects level of detail. No matter what card you have. Right now that's considered the main uh, thing to change. But after those are set, the most important one is render scaling. Now I've had it set to 30 here, so everything else is left on high as you see here. But we're going to test with uh, render scaling set uh, to that 30. So after reloading it uh, and uh, launching the flight, you'll see that the interior cockpit is all grainy and not much detail to it at all. If we scroll around a little bit here, it's really not that great. So if we go outside, it's basically the same thing. Not that great looking, all fuzzy. Uh, so what are we going to do about it? We're going to change the render scaling. Now again, we're at 30, but I'm going to bump the uh, rendering scaling up to 60 uh, just to take a look. And we're not even going to fly. We're just going to look at how it renders the cockpit and the aircraft. So I'm going to go back here and say resume. And we're going to go back to the cockpit. And sure enough, it's improved dramatically over the 30 uh, setting. Same with the outside. So why stop there? Uh, let's go back to the control panel again. Uh, not the control panel, but the settings in the app. We're going to hit Escape. Go back here to General. And we're going to go and change it again. I'm going to bump it up to 80. And go back again. Oh, let me apply it first. Applies the new settings. Go back. And here we are back again with even better looking uh, graphics uh, on the outside. And then if we go back to the cockpit, it's quite frankly beautiful. And if we look around a bit, uh, I can live with this. Uh, everything's performing well. Looks nice and clean. I like my cup holders. Okay. Everything's just uh, pretty good. So why stop there? Let's take another jump and let's go uh, even higher. So here we are back at the control panel, and uh, we're going to bump it to 100. By the way, you notice there's a lot more room for those with higher graphic levels. But we're going to go with 100. Uh, we're going to go uh, apply and save. And we're going to go ahead and resume it. And uh, look at it while we're flying this time, because we already know the graphics in the cockpit and on the ground are fine. Now, this stutters just a little bit. Now, don't forget, I'm running a video capture program besides the actual program. But it looks pretty good. Plane responds well. There's no serious stutters. Uh, everything's going uh, pretty good. Let's go in for a closer look. So here I am flying in Southern California uh, near Santa Monica. Take a look around and look at the uh, nice reflection off the ocean. And or you watch as uh, things appear in the background. Again, uh, it doesn't have a good draw distance. Things show up at the last minute. But basically, it's completely usable though. Now a little later, we're going to do a low pass over Santa Monica, and we'll see the Santa Monica Pier come up. And again, the graphics here, they're a little staggered because of my video capture program. Uh, but you just play with these settings until you get good performance, good graphics, and no stuttering. And then you'll see, we'll fly over here, and there's Santa Monica. So pretty much the moral of the story is in a low-end system, and you're just flying maybe cockpit view, uh, planning your flight across country, or even high level, uh, go ahead and adjust this setting until you get it performing the way that it's good for you. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. 
And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.